So HSV-1 is typically known as oral herpes. Typically the HSV-1 virus prefers the oral region. However, it doesn't mean that it can stay here. It can also be transmitted to the genitals. So same thing with genital or HSV-2 is typically known as genital herpes. So typically known as the herpes down there. However, it also be, can be transmitted orally. So it can go either way, either location. Um, both the viruses pretty much look and do the same thing. More people have HSV-1 because I mean, think about it. We use our mouths far more than we use our genitals, right? Like more people are gonna come in contact with our oral region than our genital region. That's why HSV-1 typically is much more common. Two out of three people have HSV-1. That's a lot of people, I'm gonna say that again. Two out of three. So if you have you and two other friends, let's say, two of you have HSV-1. That's a lot, It's a lot. We all get, we get in this, this concept of like, oh my gosh, I'm the only one with herpes, no one else knows, or no one else knows what I'm going through. We feel that way, we feel isolated, but truly so many people are living with herpes. And then for HSV2, which is the typically known as the genital type, but doesn't mean it's genital, HSV2 is one out of six people 